This paper investigates the impact of personalization techniques on the group fairness of federated learning FL, models. FL is a paradigm for collaboratively training machine learning models across distributed datasets, clients in a privacy-preserving manner. However, real-world applications often involve heterogeneous datasets across clients, leading to low local accuracy and fairness concerns. Personalized Florida techniques, such as clustering and fine-tuning, have been proposed to enhance local accuracy but may also improve fairness as an unintended benefit. The authors conduct numerical experiments comparing two personalized Florida algorithms, clustered FL and MAMLFL, against FED-AVG and standalone learning. The results show that personalization can improve fairness under different notions of fairness, including statistical parity, equality of opportunity, and equalized odds. Two potential factors driving this alignment are identified, statistical advantages of diverse data and computational advantages due to alignments in local accuracy and fairness. The authors argue that collaborative learning algorithms can enhance both accuracy and fairness, especially when dealing with imbalanced datasets. Personalized algorithms can outperform non-personalized collaborative learning, such as FedAVG, by reducing overfitting to the majority group's data. The authors also provide analytical support for the alignment between personalization and fairness, including propositions 1 and 2. Building on these findings, the authors propose a fairness-aware federated clustering algorithm, FAIR-FCA, which extends the IFCA federated clustering algorithm by modifying the cluster identity assignment step to encompass a fairness criterion. FAIR FCA can strike a balance between accuracy and fairness at the client level by adjusting a hyperparameter. The paper's contributions include extensive numerical experiments showing that personalization in Florida can improve local fairness, analytical results demonstrating the potential for personalization to lead to improved local fairness, and the proposal of FAIR FCA, which can provide desired fairness accuracy trade-offs. The authors highlight the potential for Florida to improve both accuracy and fairness compared to standalone learning, contradicting prior work that suggests a trade-off between fairness and accuracy. To the best of the author's knowledge, this work is the first to identify the unintended fairness benefits of personalization techniques in Florida. The paper's findings have implications for the development of Florida algorithms that can meet certain fairness criteria particularly in scenarios where Florida is used to train foundation models or recommendation systems. This paper explores the intersection of personalized federated learning and achieving fairness in federated learning. It discusses various related works in these fields, including clustering and local fine-tuning for personalization and different notions of group fairness such as statistical parity, equality of opportunity, and equalized odd. The authors propose a new algorithm called FAIR FCA, which belongs to the clustering category and aims to improve both accuracy and fairness. The paper begins by discussing the problem setting in preliminaries, where clients are categorized into two clusters based on similarities in their data distributions. The clustered FL algorithm alternates between clustering clients and optimizing model parameters within each cluster, leading to distinct cluster-specific models. In contrast, the MAMLFL algorithm takes an extra step beyond the FED-AVG approach, with clients fine-tuning the received global model through additional gradient steps to specialize it to their local data. The authors then assess the fairness of the learned models using three notions of group fairness, statistical parity, equality of opportunity, and equalized odd. They present numerical experiments on the retiring adult dataset which consists of census data collected from 50 U.S. states and Puerto Rico. Each state is considered as a client, and the authors compare the average local statistical parity fairness achieved by two personalized Florida algorithms clustered FL and MAMLFL against FED-AVG and standalone learning. The results show that personalization can improve fairness, and the authors elaborate on the reasons behind this improvement. They also provide analytical support for these findings in subsequent sections of the paper. Overall, the work highlights the potential for personalization to enhance both accuracy and fairness in federated learning, while emphasizing the importance of considering fairness-aware cluster assignments in the clustering process. In the context of federated learning, FL, this research explores the benefits of personalization in improving fairness in machine learning models.
The authors considered two binary classification tasks, employment, ACS employment, and income, ACS income, using a twill-layer neural network and a dataset with multidimensional features, true labels, and protected attributes such as race, sex, and citizenship. The authors first examined the ACS employment task with imbalanced groups, where they observed that collaborative training algorithms like FedAVG, MAMLFL, and clustered FL achieve better local fairness compared to standalone learning. This is attributed to the statistical benefits of collaboration, which effectively expands the training data and improves both local accuracy and fairness. Next, they consider better balanced data in the ACS employment task with sex as the protected attribute, where collaborative training algorithms still exhibit better local fairness compared to standalone learning. Clustered FL and MAMLFL improve both local accuracy and fairness compared to FedAVG, demonstrating the computational advantages of personalized collaborative learning. The authors also conduct experiments on the ACS income task, where personalization improves fairness despite accuracy and fairness not being aligned. They observe that personalized Florida algorithms slightly improve local fairness compared to FedAVG, which is attributed to the statistical advantage of observing more label 1 data and the computational advantage of not overfitting to the majority label 0 data. Furthermore, the authors compare their approach to a fair federated learning algorithm, fair fed, which adjusts global model aggregation weights according to a fairness metric. While fair Florida algorithms achieve the best fairness, they have worse local accuracy compared to other collaborative training algorithms. The authors conclude that personalization in Florida can improve fairness as a side benefit, leading to a more favorable trade-off between fairness and accuracy. The authors also provide theoretical support for their findings, analytically showing that personalized federated clustering algorithms can improve fairness. This research highlights the importance of personalization in Florida for achieving better fairness outcomes, particularly in scenarios where data is imbalanced or heterogeneous. In the context of personalized federated learning, this research explores how integrating fairness considerations into clustering techniques can enhance not only local accuracy but also group fairness. The paper introduces the FairnessAware Federated Clustering Algorithm, FairFCA, which is an extension of the clustered FL algorithm. This new approach modifies the cluster identity assignment step to incorporate a fairness criterion, striking a balance between accuracy and fairness through the use of a hyperparameter gamma. The FAIR FCA algorithm iterates over two main steps, cluster identity assignment and training of cluster-specific models. For each client, the cluster identity is determined by minimizing a combination of empirical loss and fairness assessed on the client's dataset, with gamma controlling the trade-off between these two objectives. Clients then perform local updates on their assigned cluster model, and the updated models are sent to the central server for updating the cluster models. The paper also presents two propositions that demonstrate the potential benefits of personalized models over shared global models in terms of improving local fairness. Specifically, Proposition 1 shows that if the optimal threshold for cluster C alpha is lower than that for cluster C beta, clients in C alpha can achieve better local fairness under the equality of opportunity EQ op, metric when using their cluster-specific model instead of a shared global model. Similarly, Proposition 2 illustrates that under certain conditions, clients in C-alpha can obtain better local fairness under the statistical parity SP, metric with their cluster-specific model compared to a shared model. The proposed FAIR FCA algorithm aims to provide clients with the best fairness accuracy trade-off among those attainable if the client were to join each cluster. By integrating fairness considerations into the clustering process, this approach has the potential to enhance both local accuracy and group fairness in personalized federated learning scenarios. Fairness accuracy trade-off in federated learning is explored using FAIR FCA, a fairness-aware federated clustering algorithm. The algorithm balances fairness and accuracy by tuning a hyperparameter gamma, which controls the emphasis on fairness versus accuracy. In a synthetic dataset experiment, FAIR FCA demonstrates a fairness accuracy trade-off, where gamma equals 1 prioritizes accuracy, gamma equals 0 focuses on fairness, and gamma element of 0, 1, balances both. The algorithm is compared to clustered FL, IFCA, 
and exhibits improved fairness performance at the expense of accuracy degradation. The FAIR FCA algorithm is motivated by the finding that personalization in federated learning can lead to unintended fairness benefits. The algorithm takes into account both fairness and model performance when clustering clients, leading to an improved fairness accuracy trade-off. The authors argue that personalization techniques can offer dual benefits in terms of accuracy and fairness. Experiments are conducted on various datasets, ACS employment, ACS income, and protected attributes, race, sex, verifying the fairness accuracy trade-off of FAIR FCA. The results show that FAIR FCA exhibits improved fairness performance compared to clustered FL, while sacrificing some accuracy. The authors identify potential statistical and computational reasons for the alignment between fairness and accuracy in personalization techniques, including improved data diversity and alignments between local accuracy and fairness while preventing overfitting. Future work directions include extending the analytical findings to other classes of personalized Florida methods and exploring other personalized Florida algorithms beyond clustering and local fine-tuning. The authors acknowledge funding support from Cisco Research and the National Science Foundation, NSF, Program on Fairness in AI in collaboration with Amazon. The paper provides a comprehensive list of references, covering various aspects of fairness in machine learning and federated learning. This paper discusses the advancements and challenges in federated learning, focusing on fairness, privacy, and personalization. It highlights various approaches to improve fairness, including clustered federated learning, which is model agnostic and distributed multitask optimization under privacy constraints. The authors also emphasize the importance of addressing nonia data in federated learning, as well as the need for efficient communication protocols. The paper explores different frameworks for achieving fairness, such as FedAVG with FAIR Averaging, DITO, and FAIR FL, which aim to reduce demographic bias in privacy-sensitive classification models. Additionally, it mentions the use of mixture of experts for federated learning and proportional fairness in this context. In terms of privacy, the authors discuss the use of differential privacy in federated learning to ensure data confidentiality. They also touch upon the concept of test time robust personalization for federated learning, which is crucial for real-world applications. Personalization is another key theme, with the paper discussing the role of personalized crossolo federated learning on Nonia data and the use of Moreau envelopes for personalized federated learning. Furthermore, it mentions the use of unified group fairness in federated learning and the development of comprehensive packages like Federated Scope LLM for fine-tuning large language models in federated learning. The paper also explores anomaly detection through unsupervised federated learning and the need for fairness-aware federated learning. It concludes by discussing the trade-offs between privacy, accuracy, and model fairness in federated learning, as well as the unintended selection persistent qualification rate disparities and interventions. The paper discusses various aspects of fairness in federated learning, including social fairness, group fairness, and individual fairness. It highlights the limitations and extensions of the proposed framework, such as extending the analysis to include multiple clusters and client heterogeneity within each cluster. The paper also reviews other types of fairness considered in the Florida literature, including performance fairness, good intent fairness, and other types of fairness. In terms of personalization techniques, the paper reviews several approaches, including model regularization, model interpolation, and data interpolation. For instance, Hansley and Rich Tarek, 2020, Sahu et al., 2018, Lee et al., 2021, add a regularization term with mixing parameters to penalize the distance between the local and global models. Similarly, Qui et al., 2021, consider a constrained multi-objective optimization problem to enforce the fairness constraint on all clients. They then maximize the worst client with fairness constraints through a gradient-based procedure. The paper also provides details on the dataset and models used in the experiments. Specifically, it uses the pre-processed dataset provided by the Folktables Python package, which includes three tasks, ACS employment, ACS income, and ACS health. For these tasks, the goal is to predict whether the person is employed, earns more than $50,000 annually, and is covered by insurance, respectively. 
The model used is a fully connected twilayer neural network model with a ReLU activation function and a batch size of 32. The input feature size varies across tasks, and the paper considers either sex or race as the protected attribute in the experiments. The paper also presents figures illustrating the data distributions for different tasks and protected attributes, highlighting significant differences in sample numbers between groups and labels. These differences underscore the importance of considering fairness in Florida to ensure that the model performs equally well across all groups. The paper presents a comprehensive analysis of the fairness performance in federated learning, focusing on the impact of global models on different clusters. It begins by illustrating the distribution of samples across various states for the ACS employment task, highlighting that the ACS health task has similar fractions of samples from each group unlike the ACS income task. In the subsequent section, the authors delve into the proof of Proposition 1, which states that the global model is more unfair than the cluster-specific model. This is achieved through a series of lemmas and proofs. The first lemma proves that the optimal solution for the Fed AVG algorithm will lie between the models of two clusters, theta asterisk operator alpha and theta asterisk operator beta. This is demonstrated by assuming theta asterisk operator G greater than theta asterisk operator beta and showing that it contradicts the assumption of theta asterisk operator G being the optimal solution. Following this, the authors proceed to prove proposition 1, focusing on the clusterwise EQ op fairness gap at a given decision threshold theta. They define increment EQ op theta as the difference in cumulative distribution functions of the two groups and then derive its derivative using the Leibniz integral rule. This leads to the conclusion that the global model is indeed more unfair than the cluster-specific model, as the derivative of the fairness gap increases with theta. The paper also includes figures illustrating the normalized frequency of fraction of samples for different tasks, such as ACS employment and ACS income, with respect to protected attributes like race and sex. These figures provide visual evidence supporting the arguments made in the text, emphasizing the disparities in sample distribution across tasks and attributes. Overall, the paper provides a detailed exploration of the fairness implications of using global models in federated learning. By employing mathematical proofs and visual illustrations, the authors demonstrate how the global model can exacerbate existing biases, leading to unfairness in the system. This work contributes significantly to the understanding of fairness in machine learning and its implications for real-world applications. The research paper discusses the fairness of federated averaging, FedAVG, solutions in the context of machine learning. The authors analyze the impact of FedAVG on the equality of opportunity, EQOP, fairness gap and the statistical parity, SP, fairness gap. The authors first consider the case where the feature label distribution has an equalized distance assumption. They show that the optimal decision threshold theta asterisk operator alpha obtained from the EQ op fairness gap can be written in a closed form. The authors then relax the equalized distance assumption and consider two cases where the location of modes of F1A, F0A, F1B, and F0B are fixed, and vary the mode of F0B. They show that the optimal decision threshold theta asterisk operator alpha will shift to the left, resulting in a smaller value compared to the equalized distance case. The authors also consider the scenario where the ratio of the number of samples from group A to group B, raw, is not equal to the ratio of the number of samples from group B to group A, RB. They show that the change of RG does not affect the value of increment EQ op, theta but the location of theta asterisk operator alpha. The authors assume that the majority of samples are labeled as 1 and show that the decision threshold theta asterisk operator alpha will shift towards the left to account for label imbalance. The authors then provide a proof of proposition 2, which states that the Fed AVG solution theta asterisk operator G will make the cluster C alpha unfairer. They assume that clients within the same cluster are identical and derive the clusterwise SP fairness gap increment SP theta at the given decision threshold theta. They show that the optimal decision threshold theta asterisk operator alpha obtained by solving the equation increment SP theta equals zero can be written in a closed form. 
The authors also show that the Fed AVG solution theta asterisk operator G would lead to a worse fairness performance if increment SP theta asterisk operator alpha is greater than or equal to zero. The figures provided show the normalized frequency of fraction of samples for ACS health and the fraction of samples over all states for ACS income and ACS health. The tables and graphs are not explicitly mentioned but are used to support the analysis and results presented in the paper. The author's analysis highlights the limitations of Fed AVG solutions in achieving fairness in machine learning models. They show that the Fed AVG solution can lead to a worse fairness performance, especially when the ratio of samples from different groups is not equal. The author's results emphasize the need for fairness aware federated learning algorithms that can mitigate these issues. Here is a combined summary of pages 19 and 20 of the research paper. The authors investigate the impact of personalization techniques on fairness notions, specifically focusing on the statistical parity, SP, fairness. They derive the expressions for the rate of change of psi 1, theta, and psi 2, theta, in the neighborhood of theta asterisk operator alpha, which enables them to analyze how the Fed AVG solution theta asterisk operator G affects the cluster C alpha. By setting psi 1, theta asterisk operator alpha is greater than or equal to psi 2 theta asterisk operator alpha they show that there exists a cluster size weight p such that the fed avg solution theta asterisk operator g makes the cluster c alpha unfairer the authors also relax the equalized label participation rate assumption and consider different alpha y underscore g in the expression they find that when the label participation rates are balanced the fairness increment sp theta has two equal height peaks but when the majority of samples are labeled as one the decision threshold theta asterisk operator alpha shifts to the left favoring label one and both accuracy and fairness deteriorate in addition to the sp fairness the authors explore the impact of personalization techniques on other fairness notions such as equalized odds eo and equal opportunity eq op they conduct experiments on various datasets and protected attributes, demonstrating that personalization techniques can improve local fairness as an unintended benefit. The authors also compare the EO and EQ op fairness between two algorithms, ICFA and FAIR FCA. They find that the FAIR FCA algorithm enables a better fairness accuracy trade off compared to the ICFA algorithm. Furthermore, the authors provide additional experiments on synthetic data where they generate 1,200 samples from each distribution and apply a logistic regression classifier for binary classification tasks. They report the experiment results for an average of five runs, demonstrating how the FAIR FCA algorithm can effectively account for both accuracy and SP fairness when clustering clients. Here is a combined summary of pages 21 and 22 of the research paper. The authors present additional experiments using the original retiring adult dataset without feature scaling, demonstrating an accuracy fairness trade off between the IFCA algorithm and the proposed FAIR FCA algorithm. Table 2 displays the data distributions over 8 clients, while Figure 15 illustrates the accuracy versus SP fairness, showcasing the trade off. The authors also discuss the assumptions used for the analytical results specifically the SP and EQ op fairness metrics. Figure 16 depicts the fairness performance under different values of the decision threshold, highlighting the importance of restrictive assumptions in analytical support for SP fairness. Table 3 compares the algorithm performance using the original retiring adult dataset, demonstrating the FAIR FCA algorithm's improved fairness at the cost of accuracy degradation. The authors then assume an equalized distance between distributions, equalized group rate, and equalized label rate in the cluster C beta, and relax these assumptions in the cluster C alpha. This setup is used to illustrate the findings in propositions 12. The authors conduct numerical experiments under Gaussian distribution with equalized distance, balanced group rate, and equalized label rate. The results, presented in tables 4 and 5, provide insights into the conditions required for proposition 2, SP, to hold. The experiments demonstrate that smaller values of sigma and larger differences between micro 1 gram and micro 0 grams are advantageous in fulfilling the conditions. The optimal decision threshold theta asterisk operator alpha could achieve perfect classification and fairness, 
while the Fed AVG solution theta asterisk operator G deviates from the optimal solution, leading to worse performance in both accuracy and fairness. The experimental results presented in tables 410 investigate the fairness performance of Fed AVG and clustered Florida solutions under various distribution conditions, label rates, and group rates. Tables 4 and 5 reveal that Fed AVG solutions consistently make the cluster C alpha unfairer in terms of EQ op fairness, even when the label rate is equalized. This is consistent with the findings in Proposition 1. The results also show that the weight P plays a significant role in shaping the overall clusterwise average fairness performance, especially when assessing the overall clusterwise average fairness performance. Tables 6 and 7 delve into the clusterwise average fairness gap achieved with different decision thresholds, including optimal clustered Florida solutions theta asterisk operator C and Fed AVG solutions theta asterisk operator G. The results indicate that when both conditions are not satisfied, there exists a cluster size weight P such that the Fed AVG solutions would lead to better fairness performance for each cluster, resulting in a lower cluster-wise average fairness gap. However, when only one cluster satisfies the condition, a relatively small P would let the clustered Florida solutions yield a better fairness performance. The additional experiments in tables 810 relax the balanced group rate and label rate settings while keeping other settings unchanged. The results show that the changes in the group rate do not affect the fairness performance comparison, and there exists a cluster size weight P such that the Fed AVG solutions would lead to worse SP and EQ op fairness performance compared to the clustered Florida solutions. These observations are consistent with the findings in propositions 1 and 2. The mathematical formulation of the cluster-wise average local fairness gap is presented as increment F, theta, equals p increment alpha f plus 1 p increment beta f where p is the fraction of clients belonging to cluster c alpha the results highlight the importance of considering the cluster size weight p in shaping the overall fairness performance the findings suggest that clustered florida solutions can yield superior fairness performance compared to fed avg solutions especially when the cluster size weight p is within a certain range in this section, the paper presents a comprehensive analysis of the performance of cluster C alpha SP and C alpha EQ op fairness under Gaussian distributions without equalized distance, label rate, and group rate. The results are summarized in tables 9 and 10 for C alpha SP fairness and tables 11 and 12 for C alpha EQ op fairness. For C alpha SP fairness, table 9 shows that when the majority of samples are labeled 1, there exists a cluster size weight P such that the Fed AVG solution would lead to a worse SP fairness performance compared to the clustered Florida solutions. This observation is consistent with the findings in Proposition 2, which states that the fairness gap would increase initially and then decrease as P increases. On the other hand, Table 10 reveals that when the majority of samples are labeled differently, the fairness gap behaves distinctly with a different outcome occurring when micro 1a micro 0a greater than micro 1b micro 0b. This variation in behavior can be attributed to the non-satisfaction of the condition in the experiments for rows 46 and 1012. Moving on to C alpha EQ op fairness, table 11 demonstrates that when the condition alpha 1 gram is greater than or equal to alpha 0 grams holds, changes in group rates, label rates, and distribution distance do not significantly impact the EQ op fairness performance in cluster C alpha. There exists a cluster size weight P such that the Fed AVG solution would lead to a worse fairness performance. However, when the condition is not met, the Fed AVG solution would have a better EQ op fairness performance, as seen in Table 12. The paper's findings suggest that the performance of C alpha SP and C alpha EQ op fairness can be influenced by various factors including the distribution of labels, group rates, and cluster size weights. These insights contribute to the ongoing discussion on fairness in machine learning and the importance of considering these factors in algorithm design.